Kosher, everybody. Well, people tend to think of Korean food as being meat and seafood driven, but you might be surprised to find out that many dishes are actually vegan. Here to share some of his favorite plant-based recipes is the one and only Chef Sang Kim. Hi, thank you very much, ladies. Thank we you love for having, having you on the show, not just because you feed us, but uh, today, can you start off by telling us a bit about the history of vegan food in Korean culture? You know what, every time you ask somebody, mm -hmm. Korean food, yeah. there's three things that come to mind. KFC, <laughs> uh, Korean fried chicken, yeah. right? right. Uh, okay. Pork bone soup, and of course, Korean barbecue, mm -hmm. right? But what a lot of people don't know mm -hmm. is that Korean culture has always been historically a Buddhist culture. And so okay. what you had over many, many centuries mm -hmm. is um, you know, nuns and monks that adhered very, very closely to veganism. Um, and then, of course, with the popularity of temple food recently, mm -hmm. what you had is you know, the, the ordinary people like me who really, really went to it and said, can you actually make things like mushroom taste like meat? Yeah, it's right? a big question. So yeah, so that's basically what the history of uh, veganism in Korean is still okay. alive. Very still much. alive. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to try some traditional vegan dishes that you prepared for us. And we're going to start with mushrooms. We're going to get us working in the kitchen. So yeah. let's get started. What should we do first? Okay, first of all, let's turn on our okay. uh, grill. So How do we do that? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, turn, turn got it, it over, right? I like if, a medium heat, you think? Uh, sure. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Right? Okay, I have butane, fire. Yeah, yours is fine. Okay. okay. Uh, take the mushroom? Yeah, so I want you guys to take the mushroom. I've already cut them. Thank right? you. And what okay. I've done is I've cut them into about half inch slices, right? Gotcha. It's gonna get, get it pretty meaty. Um, what I want you to do is dip it into the marinade. Okay. okay. Flip it over, right? Okay, dipping. And then let's add it to the grill. And let's put a few of them on. Uh, in fact, let's put all of them on. All of them? Okay. okay. And these are, these are king oyster mushrooms? King oyster mushrooms. They're also called king mushrooms. They're also called trumpet mushrooms. So are these the only mushrooms that kind of have that meaty taste when you cook them, or any mushroom can have this? This one in particular. Okay. Uh, this one is beautiful, and it's really interesting, because you know what? I, I wish the entire audience can try it. Um, maybe they can try yours, Jess. Yeah, but, <laughs> I'm happy to share. But, but it's because this one there with this marinade particularly tastes like beef. Well, it tell tastes us like about beef. the marinade. What's in it? So the marinade is your just your classic kalbi marinade, right? Mm -hmm. Kalbi, of course, is short rib, LA uh, short rib cuts of beef, and what it is, of course, is um, made with a soy sauce base. It's got sesame in it, of course, onions and, and garlic and all kinds of other goodies. But the most important part is this. What is, what is that? that? This is Asian pear. Oh, yeah. those are delicious. Very, I've yes, had those very, before. very crunchy, but yeah. also so juicy. Yeah. Natural tenderizer and natural sweetener. Oh. So this is the key ingredient in my mind when it comes to making uh, the marinade. And how long should you cook these mushrooms for? Because mine are sizzling. I, maybe Can I have too much sauce on them? Um, no, I think uh, mine are sizzling too very, very quickly, as they sh shouldn't be. Um, so quickly, but this is a great grill. So this is a this, very fast grill. Okay, yeah. so, so this should be on a lower heat, perhaps, yeah. and cook a little slower. <laughs> mine, you know, so I'm gonna flip mine. Yeah, let's do that. And, Why don't we flip? And flip? I want to know about the different ways we can serve these. Okay, but before we do that, yeah, just let's add some of the other things that I think should go with it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna add more stuff to yeah. the grill. Okay. So there's there's um, uh, green onion and there's white onion. Okay. So put all of those in yeah. there. Let's let's throw those on there as well. Anywhere on the grill? Oh. Sure. Anywhere we can find. Room? Anywhere Michael's... where there's heat. Okay, okay. okay. My Good. inability to cook on camera is gonna show up today, boy. <laughs> Listen, look at this. Do not judge me. I'm just throwing well, your things Your arrangement everywhere. is beautiful. Like, is look, it? look at her. She's making like a, 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 a stir fry over here. <laughs> but yours, yours is very pretty. Thank you very much, Chef. <laughs> feel so bad anymore. Okay, we're also putting the, okay, we're putting the, all those okay, onions. Okay, so yeah, so we're just, all we're gonna do with the onions, uh, with the onions is just char them, okay? Okay. So, so just turn them over. Yep. So I can start turning these Char them. Over. And I'm oh. gonna turn off the heat because it is hot. It, listen, I didn't want to say anything, but it is hot in here. <laughs> it's hot. So, okay. and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wrap. Okay. okay Koreans love wraps, oh. okay? Um, and. Can I turn off this burner? Yeah, why don't, why don't we do that? I want to get mine a little crispier. But no, I'll turn yeah. it off, I'll turn yeah, it so off. so turn, turn okay. yours off as well, because if the butane explodes, it's not my fault. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so now, so what I want you to do is let's take a piece of 
uh, one of the mushrooms. Okay. okay. I'm going to take this one. Place it on top of the uh, perilla leaf because we're using a perilla leaf wrap. Okay. Take a small white onion and a small green onion. Okay. Okay. And then... Oh, this is hot. It is hot. This Ooh. is hot, honey. Why is everything so hot? <laughs> <laughs> So, and then, okay. and then eat it. And, and you, you just, just fold it up and eat it? Yeah. Eat it? Okay. okay, wait. Can we, oh my gosh. Can we blow it a little? Mmm. Oh God, I, this is not pretty. <laughs> you got with the camera, it came off for me. <laughs> but you, can you taste that meatiness in it? It is so good. Yeah, mm. You guys, it tastes like meat. The texture is incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's wonderful. Yeah. That really good. My mouth is full. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. My mouth is full too. Wow. Next, you've made us rice noodles in a soybean broth. Tell us about this one. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a classic summer dish, okay? And what it is, is it's soy, soman noodles, right? It's mm -hmm. very, very thin, like vermicelli, right? And what you have is uh, soybean, chilled soybean broth, mm -hmm. right? And the chilled soybean broth, uh, I could tell you how to make it. Please do. Yeah, okay? How do you make it with so the this soybean? is how grandmothers uh, used to make it. I'm not sure that's the way uh, kids this generation do it any anymore. Okay. But what it is, is you take soybean, Mm -hmm. Right? And what you're doing is you're putting it in, in water, putting it in the fridge overnight, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then finally, you're dumping it into a, draining the water, putting it in, in boiling water, cooking it up. Very important that you don't cook it for more than three or four minutes because okay. then it can, turns really, really mushy, mm -hmm. right? Oh, a bath water, cold bath water, then what you want to do is you want to just take mm. the skin off, peel the skin off the soybean, mm -hmm. right? Then you want to puree it with pine nuts and uh, sesame seeds. Right, and then add water according to how how, how watery you, you like your uh, soup, mm -hmm. and then you add cook your noodles, and then of course you you add it to it. Today, that's not what kids do, of course. Okay. Right, they go what to do kids do well, today? They, they go to the yeah, they go to uh, you know your grocery store and mm -hmm. buy organic soy milk. Right. Right, oh. and then pretend that they made it. But they, <laughs> they pretend. Yeah, they okay. pretend this, this really is well. such a delicate, beautiful flavor. Yeah, try yeah. it. It's, it's really No, I already lovely. have some of that, but I yeah. want to move on to the next one because yeah. it looks really delicious. Mm -hmm. Scallion pancakes. Tell us about this one. So, pajon. Pa means green onion. Okay. And then jeon means pancake. Pajon. Okay. And Koreans, we don't lead to pancake like the way uh, everyone else does, right? Okay. So, none of that syrupy, like artificial. No. Oh. It's Anyways, more savory. So, yeah. So, what it is, it's, it's, it's a savory pancake. Mm -hmm. And this is a classic street food. So, basically, what mm -hmm. you have is good. You, you have APF, right? Mm -hmm. With corn flour mm -hmm. or cornstarch, right? You're making a batter out of it, but you want to make sure that the batter is pretty runny because you're using vegetables and the vegetables are going to cook very, very quickly, okay. right? And you want it very thin. Add the uh, green onions. Mm -hmm. Here, I've also put a little bit of uh, red and yellow pepper and okay. some Delicious. carrots. Three minutes one side, flip it over, three minutes on the other side, and you that have... That couldn't be easier, but That's what so about this dipping sauce? It's delightful. Mm -hmm. It's just very, very simple soy, sesame, right? A touch of uh, Korean chili pepper called gochugaru. Mm -hmm. and you have your, your dipping sauce. Saying, I feel like we could truly make all of these at home and feel really good while we do it. Thank you so much, as <laughs> usual. It's wonderful. So, Amazing. viewers at home, get your phones out and scan the QR code on your screens to get the recipes right in the palm of your hand. Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.